Hey guys, we're about to gas up and head to Vancouver, so I'll see you guys there. Morning. Take this ride with me. Enjoy laying back your seat. Let me tell you who I am. C N I C H O L E. So we're here at the border. I'm gonna need them to let us in though. We don't have no records. Let us in. Ain't that right, Kayla? <laughs> She's so asleep right now. <laughs> Why every time I enter Canada, I want to, like, I subconsciously, like, just put on Drake. Like, I don't even notice it. Like, it's crazy. Um, had to stop at the drive through though, at Tim Hortons for some reason. Like, I really love their shakes and a croissant. Um, it's just a Canada thing, you know? It's just life. Hey, so now I'm at the UBC Botanical Garden, University of British um, Columbia. Um, just me on this one. Cheap Kayla didn't want to pay, so... About to head to this canopy walkway. Just trying to make sure I'm walking the right way. So yeah. Just nature everywhere. Nice day. Peaceful out. Yeah. So the canopy is right over there. It wasn't as far of a walk as I thought it would be. It's pretty good. These trees. Okay, I just walked him over there. We have some wobbly stuff. I already still feel like I'm wobbly. While I'm up here, I'll show you some of the view. And I feel like I'm out of breath. I ain't even did that much walking. <laughs> We're gonna continue this. Oh. oh. shaking. Checking. Okay, guys, I have to go. <laughs> Alright, so heading to the next side. Let's see if I can do it. Right. I'm so high up. This is how I felt when I ziplined in Charlotte. You guys didn't get to see that. It was just, it was horrible. Okay. I think I'm gonna need both hands again. <laughs> All right, so I made it to the top, climbed up a few stairs. That's how the canopy looks down there for you guys. Almost done. I think I'm gonna head back down. Oh, I feel so good to be back on the ground. Yes. And the part of the garden. Let's go in this tunnel. Okay, this is what it led me to. It led me under the street to the other side. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure my body's in shock. I'm doing so much walking. I think I'm done. I came for the canopy. You guys saw I did it. Now, uh, it's time to go. Once again, subconsciously just had to turn to Justin Bieber. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is. Like, just like Canadians in Canada, like, are just gonna jam away. First of all, like, what are you doing? I'm gonna need y'all to understand that Justin Bieber goes hard. That's R and B. I don't care what he does in his daily life, but his team knows what they're doing. He jams all the way. Whoop! Just Look. got to Queen Elizabeth part. I'm at yeah. the Lions Club. Okay, whatever. Hey. Gotta head up into this blow Blowydale Conservatory. Blowydale. You don't. You don't know. Blowydale. She doesn't know. Y'all, look at this zoom though. Alright, so we're here in Five Day Observatory. It reminds me of the Butterfly Garden in Fair Park. Um, so, These parrots in here though, fully. <laughs> A birdie. Yeah, it's birds everywhere. Can we touch it? Cause he said don't touch that. If you can touch it, he's gonna fly away. He's gone. He doesn't like you. I need to hear you. Oh, it's one right here. Where? There's like three. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Where is it? It didn't even go anywhere. It's still there. No. no. Look at no. the birdie. <laughs> no. 
Yo, that's that dude from Rio. Madagascar dragon tree. Oh my gosh, look at all these birds. They're just flying everywhere. There's more birds over here too. You keep making so much noise. Say something. It's so weird, yo. He really like repeats after people. I couldn't have a parrot. The ish that I say sometimes may not need to be repeated. This is Queen Elizabeth Park, guys. I'm the queen. You're not the queen. Beautiful greenery. <laughs> Beautiful British love. <laughs> Hey guys, so we're on Cranville Island and uh, I'm about to go get something to eat. Headed to the market. A lot of construction down in Vancouver. Um, the way people maneuver it's pretty good. It's pretty, um, yeah, they know what they're doing. That's, so that's good. You don't have to yell at anybody. And so, yeah. <laughs> They're on that seesaw though, like can you see those people? Like, oh my goodness, I wouldn't want to go over there. Why am I teaching her life lessons? Do the seesaw right now. Go, go down, push your weight down, push your weight down. Thank you. And I go. <laughs> she doesn't want to do this. Beautiful guys. Beautiful nothing. Here on the pier, living life. Yes! For the boat. Move your fat head. Get your fat head out of the way. Look at those. That's so cool. I'm carrying in the market. I truly only wanted a German sausage with some um, cranberry. That's hard. And of course, my lays. King out. Hi. Now the German hot mustard literally killed me. It snuck up on me. I didn't know mustard could be so hot. Like hit me right at the top of my mouth. Ooh. Just left rain and shine ice cream. Where are we going now? Oh, we're going to the like kids beach real quick and then we're gonna wrap today up. You all know how ice cream look, it's nothing different. In the day, move, got the way. Watch this sunset. They over there getting it in in the tennis. Do your thing. The court's all over there. <laughs> What's this say? Oh, nope, we're not gonna read that protest <laughs> stuff. We're not gonna put that on the camera. Let y'all look out and see the boats. One struggle, one fight. Okay, I'm not reading that. Let y'all look out and see the boats. <laughs> Got the city over there. With my commentary, pretty sure you don't need it because you know what's going on. It's the damn beach. It's a sunset and we're ending the day. So, beautiful city. Beautiful. My feetsies look like little dirty sausages now. <laughs> Y'all don't laugh at me. So I'm getting me a little snack at the BK Lounge and she slides to my car, Rootsy Root. I speed off. Why do I speed off? Because I'm thinking there's a second window. The Canadian way is just one window. You pay there, you get your food there. I was like, zoop. I was back there, I was like, hey. 
I forgot my food. You guys don't have two windows. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We've totally downgraded. I know next time, don't stay by the airport. Stay by Kitts Beach. Lesson learned. But it's good enough for tonight. Well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. I'm at the Neo Waffle Belgian Bar. Um, I think I'm starting to hear the accent now. Last time when I was in Toronto, I didn't hear an accent, but I definitely hear um, pieces of an accent in Vancouver. So, yeah, basically dessert for breakfast. It's about to be like waffle ice cream and all this goodness. So I got the waffle with the um, espresso infused whipped cream, ice cream, and strawberries. Oh my gosh, only thing is this is baking, but yeah, right. it's just gonna eat this right now. That was definitely the best thing I've had since I've been here. The taste buds were on like fire, like, can I take this place with me? So we're here at Stanley Park. Look at the gas station for the boats though. Yes, don't run out of gas, y'all. Can you get down there? About to go over there in a little bit and see the totem poles. And here are the totem poles. But you have to be able to put them there. They can hide under it. They can hide under it. Of course, as you know, um, Canada has a a vast Native American culture, obviously, because they were here first. So yeah. I had to come by the lighthouse and show you guys the view. Of course, that's the White House right there. So yeah. So much city. So just so built up. Alright, so now we're at, still at Stanley Park. And we are at the point. I'm going down. Let's look it out in the belt. The hollow tree. Hey guys, we just entered Pacific Can Center. I see them? Um, here's the directory. About to do some shopping. I'll show you guys some more of them all later, but yeah. All right, so you guys know how I'm all of Same thing. Same concept. Why the heck would I want to be there though? She's like, what? <laughs> that mall completely, utterly sucks. So um, I spotted Top Shop. So we're about to head into Top Shop right here for you. Okay, we're just walking around downtown. Heading to the good old trusty Forever 21, I guess. It's like, still couldn't find anything there either. So, yeah. So I know, I wish I had a Jason Deli here. So I first found out about the store roofs in Toronto and Young Mall. Now we're shopping on Robson Street. And I like being able to physically be in the store versus always having to order online. I'm so cheap, I hate spending like loads of money on souvenirs. Just spend fifty dollars on souvenirs. Like I didn't I probably only bought for like what four or five people. It's ridiculous. Just met uh, I guess new homie, I guess. A new in, friend. In Subway. <laughs> like I just I was like, yo, where's all the brown people? Like the diversity is null and void, which is so weird to me because being in Toronto, it's just diversity city. And so I was just kind of like, there's really like a lot of Asians and Caucasians. And I was just like, I already know the Hispanics ain't up here, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, interesting little combo. About to give me some regular old Chipotle because I have not like been finding anything that I really like here. The food's so bland. Other than that breakfast from this morning. Here at the Van Dusen Botanical Garden. Last thing before I head out of Vancouver. Beautiful. So many little bitty bugs. I don't know if you guys can see them, but I can. The biggest bug just went past me. Oh my goodness, it was crazy. Guys, all right guys. I made it to the bays. 
Oh, I'm in the maze. <sighs> Dead I really like. We about to have to try to find how to get out of this. This is fun. Why is another dead end? No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, it really didn't take me that long. I think I made it. I. It's like pretty. Pretty good. I think I made it to the end. Or is this a dead end? Oh, please don't tell me. I'm about to go in circles again. You don't even follow me. Like I'm going backwards. <sighs> I made it to the middle. Okay, cool. Good stuff. Almost done. All right, I made it out. I've completed everything I wanted to do now. So I'm higher up now. That was the maze that I just finished. The waterfall just came down from those rocks. Yeah, I think I'm off the trail. I think those are people's houses. I'm just gonna walk back. Literally, it's just in the middle of this big, vast garden. They're just sitting there minding their own little business. Still walking around here. Now I'm tired. Trying to find these redwood trees. I may just have to go because this shit is getting out of hand now. This is a nice view. Why do I think, no. Why do I know those are the redwoods and I just kept passing them over and over? I should have just looked up. They're so tall. Wow, okay, those earlier were not the redwoods. These are so giant sequoias are also redwoods. Oh my gosh, I've seen these like walked by here so many times like oh I'm I'm over it I'm over it I'm done it's time to head back to the border I walked around this whole thing it's been real my foot is like no <sighs> heading back to the states having up my time in Vancouver wrapping up my time in Canada let me go answer all these damn interview questions on why I've been there and why I'm going back to home, which is pretty simple, but still, they have to ask these things. Watch this U.S. border be so much more harder than the Canadian. You go you come into Canada, you know, they ask you a few questions, it's more like a chatty conversation with you. You go on in. The U.S., they think you smuggling drugs back in, all this. They want to talk to you like you're crazy and all this, so we'll see. Told you they think we're smuggling, so now we have to get out of the car. People don't understand that we can just travel. It's all right. I know it's unheard of. Man, they in there confiscating, confiscating oranges. Like, this half of them brought an orange over here. There's a whole family in there with bags full of oranges, you know? <laughs> It's crazy though, like, stop, like, doing the most, yo.